Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review. Crap, 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 it's a bunch of crap, give us money. Anyhow, moving straight into it today, today we're going to be talking about a movie that's been out for, uh, eh, not too, too long, but it's been out for a little while now. You can catch it on Disney+, Plus. you can also probably buy it if you wanted to. Of course, we are talking about the one and only Aladdin. That's right, no, 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 we're not talking about the first Aladdin cartoon. No, we're not talking about Aladdin Return of Jafar cartoon. No, no, no. No, we're talking about the live-action Aladdin that came out with the one and only, that's right, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He is in it. So, Aladdin with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, what can be said about this one? Well, uh, like we said, you can catch this one on, uh, you know, Disney Plus and everything. And, uh, you know, we gotta be honest with you and, you know just straight out of the gates be straight up with you know how we're reviewing this movie so we watched three-fourths of it and fell asleep right up until uh you know the ending or whatever so we actually didn't see the ending at all because we fell asleep but we asked our wife how it ended and she said it was pretty okay so the first three-fourths of the review are ours, and then the last one-fourth of the review, just know that that last one-fourth of the movie is okay. Uh, so, the first three-fourths of the movie, minus the ending, uh, reviewed on Disney+, Plus. what can be said about you? Well, you gotta give the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air credit where credit's due, because, uh, you know... Everyone that ever sees or hears or, you know, has any kind of affiliation with Aladdin, first and foremost, is going to know that Robin Williams is the genie and no one's going to be able to come close to do what he does. Uh, and it is very, very hard to set that thought and that feeling aside and know that the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air stepped into some ginormous genie shoes to fill in order to, uh, you know, make the role complete and come full circle and, you know, kind of round out the movie and, you know, make it watchable and everything. And, uh, you know, if you can set aside any Robin Williams stuff to it and such, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air did a great job, uh, you know, kind of taking on the role and adding his own little twists and takes to it and things like that and inevitably did an okay job uh we remember we did hear a couple of like the uh you know songs that were sung prior to even watching it because they came up on radio stations that we may or may not listen to none of your business uh but you know yeah we had heard a couple of these songs and we're like man this is some garbage uh you know aladdin music or whatever like uh you know doesn't even come close to the original and such as far as like the cartoon that came out you know years back uh but you know for for everything being how it is and such uh it is definitely uh an aladdin kind of movie watch and it's all right like we said we didn't catch the last fourth but if you're in the mood for aladdin eh, it's there uh you know now as far as the parts that we did watch Man, it's uh, it's almost like this movie is not a movie. It's more like a play that is recorded, uh, you know, on a camera and then like set up to be a movie. So it's more like a pluvie, a play movie, if you would. It's more of a pluvie that you kind of watch and experience. And Disney's kind of had a, a trouble kind of disseminating these plays to movies and such and finding that nice balance even like the return of mary poppins very play-esque in uh you know how it's portrayed and you know everything uh doesn't really like seem like a movie seems like a play uh you know that's kind of fun but you know i don't know maybe it's the musical aspect of stuff maybe not who cares i don't know you wasted four minutes of your life sucker uh, Aladdin, the first three-fourths of it, with the last fourth being okay, from what we heard, uh, you get a, uh, you get a good old-fashioned, uh, question mark, because who cares? That's what it gets anyway, so there you go. Uh, give us money. Have a good one, you probably didn't, we'll catch you next time, probably won't.